socio-religious reform movement deal revivalist movement swami dayananda saraswati born in tankara gujarat in the princely state of morbi fled from his home at an early age and became a wandering mendicant later he got himself inducted into the order of saraswati dandis and took the name dayananda in 1860 he became the disciple of swami virajananda and received education on vedanta ideological outlook to purify hinduism and revive it from its degenerate state all truth was to be found in the vedas slogan go back to vedas ideological outlook opening parenthesis rejected the puranas polytheism idolatry the role of brahman priests pilgrimages ritual did not believe in maya ha and m neeti favored the study of western science first to use the word swaraj 1874 dayananda saraswati traveled gujarat and botimbe the 10th of april 1875 he established the bombay arya samaj noble society contributions of samaj opposed caste system launched frontal attacks on hindu orthodoxy castes untouchability encouraged inter caste marriages and widow remarriage satyarth prakash elaborates the concepts of swami dayananda samaj fixed the minimum marriageable age at 25 years for boys and 16 years for girls formation of dayananda anglo vedic school the samaj lacked a central organization The Lahore Samaj on the 6th of December 1883 drafted plans for an institution and started collecting funds. In 1885, Lala Hansraj vowed to work as the principal of the upcoming institution without pay. The school was opened on the 1st of June 1886 under the Dayanand Anglo Vedic Trust and Management Society. Dayanand Anglo Vedic School. Dot. Within one month, 550 students had joined the school. It got the affiliation from the Punjab University in 1889. The curriculum was almost the same as that in the government-run schools. They functioned without government support and Englishmen as faculty. 1902, Swami Shraddhananda started the Gurukul near Haridwar to propagate the more traditional ideals of education. Census reports pictured the falling proportion of the Hindu population and Christian success in converting the lower castes. In 1880s and early 1890s, the Aryas conducted individual reconversions. Trend of group conversions emerged in 1896 at the Shuddhi Sabha. 8. A. Jat Pat Todak Mandal. Dot. Society for the Abolition of Caste, Lahore. Founder, Bhai Parmanand. Decided to work. dot first among the arya samajists in order to assimilate the reconverted dot members brought in through shuddhi dot condemned caste distinctions dharma sabha dot founded by radhakant dev in 1830 orthodox society started as a rivalry to the brahmo samaj contributions opposed the intrusion of english culture dot worked in close collaboration with the british against the abolition of sati favored western education and education for women depressed classes reforms jyotiba phule 1827-90 pioneer of social reforms in western india born on 11 th april 1827 into a family that belonged to the depressed caste at pune completed his english schooling in 1847 from scottish mission high school married young to savitri bai phule she was educated by his husband to teach the girls in his school she became a feminist reformer and even opened a school for untouchable girls he read thomas pynes book the rights of man and was inspired the ideas of equality portrayed in it he condemned the inequality in the religious books campaigned against untouchability and pathetic condition of low castes agreed by brahmanical dominity over rest of the society he opposed orthodox nature of religion caste hierarchy exploitation of masses through it 
He was against the blind and misleading rituals and hypocrisy in the prevalent religion. Advocated the ideals of unity, equality and easy religious principles and rituals. 1851. Started a school for girls in Pune. 1875. Started a home for pregnant widows of dominant caste. 1875. Started a school for girls in Pune. Taught reading and writing to his wife. Upliftment of widows and education for women. He advocated widow remarriage and fought against female infanticide. Used the word Dalit broken or crushed. Opened his home to people from all castes and backgrounds. Advocated for compulsory primary education with special incentives to lower caste. Satya Shodhak Samaj. Dot. Formed in 1873, also known as Society of Seekers of Truth. To liberate the Shudra and untouchables castes from exploitation and oppression. Jyotima Phule used the symbol of Raja Bali. Dot. Voiced its opinions through the Pune-based newspaper named Deen Bandhu. Condemned caste hierarchy and the privileged status of priests in it. Sri Narayana Guru. Sri Narayana Guru Swami was a Hindu saint, sadhu and social reformer. He was born into an Ezeva family in an era when people from that community and other communities faced much social injustice in the caste-ridden Kerala society. Gurudwan, as he was known by his followers, led a reform movement in Kerala, rejected casteism and promoted new values of spiritual freedom and social equality. Sri Narayana Dharma Paripalana SNDP Yogam he stressed the need for the spiritual and social upliftment of the downtrodden by their own efforts through the establishment of temples and educational institutions. In the process he denounced cultural convention of Chaturvarna, a Ravipuram movement. On the occasion of Sivaratri in 1888, Sri Narayana Guru, despite belonging to a lower caste, installed an idol of Siva at Aravipuram in Kerala in his effort to show that the consecration of a god's image was not a monopoly of the Brahmins. On the wall of the temple he got inscribed the words, devoid of dividing walls of caste or race, or hatred of rival faith, we all live here in brotherhood. The event inspired several socio-religious reform movements in the Sioux, especially the Temple Entry Movement. A. V. Ramasami Nikkar 18791973 Insignificant minority of the society was exploiting the majority and kept them in a subordinate position. The untouchables had to fight for their dignity i.e. self-respect. Rationalism and humanism formed the core of his ideology. Anti-Brahminism Advocated for equal rights for women in education, property and personal Choice Condemned that the orthodox arranged marriages Advocated for the right of women to divorce their husbands under reasonable Circumstances Criticized the hypocrisy of chastity and called for its application over men Justice Movement Madras Presidency of British India it was established in 1917 by C.N. Mudalia, T.M. Nair and P. Tyagaraja as a result of a series of non-Brahmin conferences and meetings in the presidency. Communal division between Brahmins and non-Brahmins began in the presidency during the late 19th and early 20th century, mainly due to caste prejudices and disproportionate Brahminical representation in government jobs. They demanded separate representations for the lower castes in the legislature. The Justice Party's foundation marked the culmination of several efforts to establish organization to represent the non-Brahmins in Madras. Self-Respect Movement In the early 20th century, the non-Brahman movement started. The initiative came from those non-Brahman castes that had acquired access to education, wealth and influence. The movement aimed to achieve a society where backward castes have equal human rights and encourage backward castes to have self-respect in the context of a caste-based society that considered them to be a lower end of the hierarchy. The movement aimed at nothing short of a rejection of the Brahminical religion and culture. Dot. Periya was an outspoken critic of Hindu scriptures, especially the codes of Manu, the ancient lawgiver, and the Bhagavad Gita and the Ramayana. He said that these texts had been used to establish the authority of Brahmins over lower castes and the domination of men over women. T. 
He argued that untouchables were the true upholders of an original Tamil Dravidian culture which had been subjugated by Brahmans. The movement was extremely influential not just in Tamil Nadu, but also overseas in countries with large Tamil populations, such as Malaysia and Singapore. We are fit to think of self-respect only when the notion of superior and inferior caste is banished from our land. Temple Entry Movement Significant work in this direction had already been done by reformers and intellectuals like Sri Narayana Guru N. Kumaran Asan T.K. Madhavan E.T.C. 1924, Vika Satyagra led by K.P. Kasava was launched in Kerala demanding the throwing open of Hindu temples and roads to the untouchables. Dot. The Satyagra was reinforced by Jatas from Punjab and Madurai. Gandhi undertook a tour of Kerala in support of the movement. Again in 1931 when the civil disobedience movement was suspended, temple entry movement was organized in Kerala. Inspired by K. Kelippan, poet Subramaniam Tirunambu, the singing sword of Kerala, led a group of 16 volunteers to Guruvayur. Led us like P. Krishna Pillai and A.K. Gopalan were among the Satyagrahis. Finally, in 1936 the Maharaja of Travancore issued a proclamation throwing open all government-controlled temples to all Hindus. A similar step was taken by the C. Rajagopalachari administration in Madras in 1938, Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya. Mahamana emerged as a notable leader of the Indian national movement. He was the founder of Banaras Hindu University, 1916. 1887, he established Bharat Dharma Mahamindal to propagate Sanatan Dharma and Hindu culture. The offshoots of the Mahamindala were the Sanatan Dharma Sabhas, founded for the defense of Hinduism from critics both within the community and outside it. 1918 presided over the Delhi Congress session and said that the slogan, Sityamev Jayate, Truth Alone Triumphs from the Mundaka Upanishad should be the slogan for the nation. P.T. Malavir condemned untouchability and emerged as a key leader for the Harijan movement. In 1933, he presided at a meeting in which the Harijan Sevak Sangh was founded. Dot. He worked for the eradication of various religious and caste barriers and M. Massive efforts for the entry of untouchables in temples. Less than 2014 posthumously conferred with Tilda Rat Ratna. Radha Swami movement. Tulsi Ram, a banker from Agra, also known as Shiv Dayal Sahib, founded this movement in 1861. They believe in one supreme being supremacy of the Guru, a company of the pious people in a simple social life. Spiritual attainment, they believe, does not call for renunciation of the worldly life. They consider all religions to be true. While the sect has no belief in temples, shrines and sacred places, it considers necessary duties, works of faith and charity, service and prayer. Dharma Sabha Radhakant Dev founded Dharma Sabha in 1830. It was an orthodox society which stood for preservation of status quo in socio-religious matters and opposed even the abolition of sati. However, it favored the promotion of Western education, even for girls. Sarda Act Child Marriage Restraint Act 1929 popularly known as the Sarda Act after its sponsor Rai Sahib Harbila Sarda to the British India Legislature in India was passed in 1929 fixed the age of marriage for girls at 14 years and boys at 18 years. It came into effect in 1930 and it applied to all of British India, not just to Hindus. It was a result of social reform movement in India. The legislation was passed by the British Indian government. However, the act remained a dead letter during the colonial period. Religious Reform Among Parsis Bombay, 1851, Ranumai Masdayasan Sabha or Religious Reform Association Prominent leaders of the Sabha included Noroji Fardunji, President Sorabji Shapurji, Bengali, Secretary Nauts Kamar and Dadabhai Noroji. Dada Bhai was one of the founders of an association to reform Thay. Zoroastrian religion and the Parsi Law Association which agitated for T grant of a legal status to women and for uniform laws of inheritance marriage for the Parsis. The message of reform was spread by the newspaper Rast Gofter Truth. Teller. 
the Anglo-Gujarati newspaper started by Noroji and Kama in 1851 was the main organ of the association, it championed social reform among the Parsis. It campaigned against the entrenched orthodoxy in the religious field. Initiated the modernization of Parsi social customs regarding the education of women, marriage and the social position of women in general. 30th Muslim Reform Movement While the Hindu community responded to Western influences with a desire to learn, the first reaction of Muslim community was to shut itself in a shell and resist all forces of change. Hence Muslim reform movements arose relatively later, i.e. only after 1860s. Sir Syed Ahmad Khan started the Aligarh movement. Impressed by modern scientific thought and worked all his life to reconcile it with Islam. This he did, first of all, by declaring that the Quran alone was the authoritative work for al Islam and all other Islamic writings were secondary. According to him, Muslim women should be given political and economic rights. 1875 set up Mohammedan Anglo Oriental College. Insisted on cooperation with Britishers and reforms among Muslims. Persuaded Muslims to receive modern education. Opposed murder, polygamy, easy divorce, etc. His loyal followers are collectively described as the Aligarh school. Chirag Ali, the Urdu poet Altaf Hussein Hali, Nazir Ahmad, and Maulana Shibli Nomani were some of the other distinguished leaders of the Aligarh school. Syed's progressive social ideas were propagated through his magazine Tazi Bola Khlaq. Muhammad El Khbal, one of the greatest poets of modern India, influenced through his poetry the philosophical and religious outlook of the younger generation of Muslims as well as of Hindus. Like Vivekananda, emphasized the need for constant change and ceaseless activity and condemned resignation, contemplation, and quiet contentment. He urged the adoption of a dynamic outlook that would help change the world. A humanist. 37. In fact, he raised human action to the status of a prime virtue. Man should not submit to nature or powers that be, he said, but should control this world through constant activity. Nothing was more sinful in his eyes than passive acceptance of things. As they were. Condemning ritualism, asceticism, and other worldly attitude, he urged men to work for and achieve happiness in this world of the living. Wahhabi Waliullah Movement The Wahhabi movement was the first Muslim movement to emerge in response to Western influences. Dot. It was a revivalist movement which tried to purify Islam of all the un-Islamic practices that had crept into Muslim society through the ages. The movement was led by Abdul Wahab of Arabia as well as Delhi's Saint Shah Waliullah Delavi 1702-662. In India, their teachings were popularized by Syed Ahmed Barelvi, as known as Syed Ahmed of Ray Bareli, Shah Abdul Aziz. Barelvi condemned all innovations in Islam and advocated a return to original religion of Islam and Islamic society of Arabia as it was during the Prophet's times. Barelvi and Aziz gave the movement a political color and aimed at creating a Muslim homeland. Aziz set out a fatwa ruling declaring that India was Darul Hab and the need was to make it Darul Islam. Jihad was initially declared against the Sikhs of Punjab then ruled by Rai Singh. After the British annexation of Punjab, Jihad was directed against the British. During the revolt of 1857, the Wahhabis played a significant role in spreading anti-British sentiments. The movement was suppressed by the British in the presence of superior military might. 1870, the term sedition was added in the IPC to outlaw speech that attempted to excite disaffection towards the government-established law in India, thus this movement marked the beginning of sedition law India. Titu Mir Movement Dot. Mir Nithar Ali, popularly known as Titu Mir, was a disciple of Saeed Ahmad Barelvi, the founder of the Wahhabi movement. Titu Mir adopted Wahhabism and advocated the Sharia. Titu organized a peasant agitation of the Muslim peasants of Bengal against the Hindu landlords and the British indigo planters. Mir was killed in a confrontation with the British in 1831. Farizi Movement 
founder Haji Shariatullah of Faridiput. The Farizi movement originally began as a peasant movement directed against the landlords and the British oppressors. However, under the leadership of Dudu Mia founder's son, the Farizis, turned into a religious sect advocating radical religious and socio-political changes. Dudu Mian propagated an egalitarian ideology that all men are equal and that all land belongs to God and no one has the right to levy tax on it. He took upon himself the task of driving away the British intruders from Bengal. Deoband School, also known as Darul Ulum Deoband, was organized by the Orthodox section among the Muslim ulema who stressed on the traditional Islamic learning. It was a revivalist movement which focused mainly on the attainment of two objectives. Propagating the pure teachings of the Quran and the Hadith among the Muslims. Keeping alive the spirit of jihad against the British rulers. 1866, the Deoband school was founded at Deoband town in Saharanpur. By the Alema under the leadership of Muhammad Qasim Nanotwi, 1832-80 and Rashid Ahmad Gangohi, 18281905. The school curricula included original Islamic religion and it totally shut out. English education and Western culture. The aim was religious and moral regeneration of the Muslim community and to train religious leaders for the Muslim community. Mahmoud ul Hassan, 1851-1920, the new leader, tried to work out a balance between the religious and political aspirations of the Muslims in the overall context of national unity. He thus added a political and intellectual content to the religious ideas of the school. The Jamaat ul Alema later gave a concrete shape to Hassan's ideas. Shibli Nomani, a supporter of the Deoband school, favored the introduction of English language and Western sciences in the education system. He founded the Darul Ulum in Lucknow in 1894-96. He had faith in the idealism of Congress and advocated peaceful coexist between the Hindus and the Muslims. Ahmadiyya movement. It was an Islamic religious movement founded in Punjab towards the end of the 19th century. The movement takes its name from its founder Mirza Ghulam Ahmad 1835-1909, born in the town of Kadian, Punjab, who claimed that he was the awaited Messiah prophesied by Prophet Muhammad and foretold by the Holy Quran. He proclaimed that Muslim religion and society has deteriorated to the point requiring divine intervention and that Allah has chosen him as the renewer Mujaddid of Islam. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad stated that all the major world religions were propounded by God himself and were part of God's plan towards the establishment of Islam as the most complete and final religion. The Sikh Movement Baba Dayal Das 1783-1855, a contemporary of Maharaja Ranjit Singh, emerged as the first among the reformers of Sikh community. Baba Dayal taught his followers to believe in one formless God, hence they named Nirinkari. He preached against idol worship of human gurus and worship of tombs and Droughts. He introduced a simple version of marriage named Anand Karat, a joyous deed. Under this system, marriage is performed in the presence of the Guru. Granth, the holy book of the Sikhs with the priest singing four relevant hymns from this book. Namdhari or Kuka movement. 1840, Namdhari movement was started by Bhagat Jawahar Mal, Shant Sahib and Baba Balak Singh in western Punjab. It was popularly called Kuka because its followers resorted to shrieks Kukan. While in ecstasy, it emerged as a powerful instrument of socio-religious reform among the Sikhs. Under Baba Ram Singh, who preached worship of one god and attacked social evils like caste system, female infanticide, early marriage and barter of daughters. In marriage, he also popularized simple and inexpensive Anand marriages. K. Singh Sabha movement. The year following the suppression of the Kukas saw the emergence of the Singh Sabha movement 1873, Amritsar. The movement was founded in an era when Sikh empire had been dissolved and annexed by the British, Khalsa had lost its prestige and mainstream Sikhs were rapidly converting to other religions. Its leaders believed that social evils in the Sikh community were chiefly due to lack of education. 
Singh Sabha Movement. Dot. It was thus founded with twofold objectives. To bring to the Sikh community the benefits of Western enlightenment. Through modern education. To oppose the proselytizing activities of the Christian missioner. Or. Oh. Brahmo Samaj, Arya Samaj, the Aligarh and Amiya movements. The Akali movement. The Akali movement also known as Gurudwara reform movement was. An offshoot of the Singh Sabha movement. It aimed at liberating the Sikh Gurudwaras from the control of corrupt. Udasi Mahants, the post having become hereditary. These Mahants were a loyalist and reactionary lot enjoying government. Patronage. The government tried its repressive policies against the non-violent non-cooperation Satyagra launched by the Akalis in 1921, but had to bow before. Popular demands. A. It passed the Sikh Gurdwaras Act in 1922 amended in 1925 which gave the control of Gurudwaras to the Sikh masses to be administered through Chirumani Gurudwara Prabandhak Committee SGPC as the apex body. The Akali movement was a regional movement but not a communal law.